Uh, g'day guys, uh, this is a supplemental video to the uh, configuration video that I did for the BGL 6G uh, autopilot return to home uh, and it's just about how to set up your three position switch uh, with the right values for each of the three modes that you're going to want for your flight controller. So this is my Turnigy 9X um, standard firmware and the first thing is I need in the Turnigy to assign an auxiliary channel and I've done that here with the throttle hold as an auxiliary channel 6 and I use that then in the mixing. Now if you do have a 6 channel um, receiver and I've got an 8 channel so I've, I've actually got my switch in channel 7 of the plane uh, what you can do is actually add that to the hover throw which is this dial at the top and I don't use that and then we can return channel 6 to null what this will do is it uses an internal channel in your transmitter um, to assign uh, the mix mix to and it helps you set up this three position switch so mix one this is where you want normal position and we've got that active and where that was previously flap we're going to change that to auxiliary one and the slave is channel six which is flap now here's the important one is the upgrade here is zero for normal position and zero uh, will give you off if you're running the spectrum stuff I think their value sets are a bit different but if you set the, your flap position normal to zero that should give you off so let's set that Mix 2 is active. I'm going to change that to auxiliary 1 and change that one to flap. And here the upright, this is in the middle position now, so switch ID 1. To get that to stabilize mode, you want that at minus 100. We can set that. And mix 3. Uh, master is auxiliary one, slave is flap. And the upgrade here for position two, so ID two, is 100. That's the opposite end, and that gives you a return to home. And we can set that. And that's it. So one note I might make with Eternity, if you do choose a six channel and, and configure the way I have with the uh, dial on the top, uh, turning that dial does actually affect the values assigned to this switch. Uh, I don't ever use this dial, uh, so I can use it as the extra channel. Um, but if you're worried about that and you have an extra channel, you can do it a slightly different way. Uh, with the same values and on the switch here uh, for the throttle hold and you can reverse each of the values in the up rate and down rate assign your throttle hold to the flap channel and I can show you that quickly now auxiliary channels change that to throttle hold and nothing on channel 7 and then plug in your control or the switch uh, of your flight controller into channel 7 if you have a channel 7 then in your program and mix mix 1 is active that is flap and auxiliary 0 is still 0 on both Channel 2, uh, flap and auxiliary the other way. 
then you have an up rate of minus 100 and a down rate of zero. And what that does is, no matter which position the switch is in, it's either on or off, the values will cancel each other out. So you can not change the value of that switch with this one, where you can with the dial.